Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to go over the Goldman Sachs virtual internship, starting with task one, which is the basic Excel skills. So once you download the Excel file, you'll notice that a lot of the shortcuts are already provided. However, those are if you're using a Windows computer. So for this video, I'm actually using a Mac. So I will show you guys what shortcuts I'm using and how to create new shortcuts to do the same thing on a Mac. And if you're using a Windows computer, you should be pretty good just following those instructions already on the Excel sheet. So let's get right into it. Once you have the Excel sheet opened up, we wanna go in and edit all the blue cells following the instructions. Um, again, I'm using a Mac and I will be posting the shortcuts that I'm using on the screen so you guys can see what I'm doing. So first we wanna uh, go into this text um, that says John, this cell that says John, and we're gonna align it to the right and middle. Now, in order to do this on the Mac, you actually, you wanna press Fn F2 to go into the cell, and then you wanna press Command R, and that will align John uh, all the way to the right and middle. Going into numbers, so this one we want to align uh, the align it to the center and middle. This one is similar, so we press FNF2 to go into the cell, and then we press Command E. Um, above here it says uh, that you can just press Command R, but for me, for some reason, that was wasn't working for Mac. So uh, try go into the cell using FNF2. So we have a typo here and we want to know how to fix this. So to fix this, it's the same thing. You want to go into the cell, let's press Fn F2. Uh, and if you, to skip to the end of the line, we can press command up. That'll take us to the front, to the beginning of the, uh, the line in the cell. And then if you just hold command and press the right key a couple times, we're going to get to uh, the word this. And then once we have it, we can press Command Shift to highlight it. Yep, it's hard to see. Uh, and then we can just uh, change it to this space. Um, and then if you want to also unbold it, we can highlight it and press Command B. But we can just keep it bolded so we can see what we changed. Okay, so now onto the next one. Uh, very similar, very similar thing. We're going to go FNF2. Um, we are going to go to the beginning of the sentence, skip a couple words, and then we're going to select all the annoyingly long words and delete them. There we go. Okay. So once again, I'm going to do a similar thing with uh, this next one, FNF2. I'm gonna skip using command up to the beginning, skip across to long, and then just select everything from the second G onwards. There we go, that one's done too. Okay, so moving on to three, uh, it starts to get a little bit more complicated. So the instructions that are given here, you can't really do on a Mac, so I'll talk you through what, what we need to do. So going into this uh, blue cell, we want to insert a row. So to do that, I'm going to press shift space to highlight the entire row. And then I'm going to press control shift plus, and then that will add a row above. Now, moving down, we want to delete the row from this cell. So same thing, we're going to press shift space to select the entire row. And then we're going to press control minus to uh, subtract. There we go. Okay, so moving on to four, uh, we're sort of gonna be learning a little bit more about just the way Excel functions here. So when it's an equal sign, Excel is expecting a formula. So in order to avoid that, we're gonna go into the cell. Uh, we're gonna use uh, um, an apostrophe and then we're gonna press, then we're gonna type the rest in. So plus, uh, we wanna write positive theory. And that way the apostrophe uh, disappears and we get a plus sign at the beginning. Um, just to show you guys, if you did it like this, Excel is gonna be confused because it's expecting a formula. So once again, we're gonna go apostrophe plus positive theory. Uh, now we're just changing this amount into a dollar sign. Now in order to do this, I'm pretty sure the command that they're giving us here works. So I'm just gonna press command one. So that's gonna take me into formatting cells uh, page we're gonna select currency, 
and no decimal places. So in order to do that without touching the mouse, we wanna press tab, that takes us to the decimal places, press zero, and that's zero, okay. And there we go, formatting without touching the mouse. So with six, this is interesting. In Excel, dates are sort of given as a number. So the number one corresponds to 1st of January, zero, zero. So the date uh, that I'm making this video, which is the 13th of January, 2023, is given as 44,939. Uh, so we're gonna try to fix its format. So we're gonna press, sorry, shift control number key. Boom, there we go. So that changes that date. And then the great thing about knowing how Excel dates are formatted, we can now do something like, if we wanna know uh, what the date will be 5,000 days from today, we can press equals, select the above cell plus 5,000, and then we get th that date. Alternatively, you can see what number date that would be in terms of the actual number below. Okay, so with number seven, I'm sure uh, most people are pretty familiar with just some basic operations. Um, so we're just gonna do equals 60 uh, plus the 30, equals again, 60 minus the 30, and so on. So I'll just do that very quickly. And then division 60 by 30. Okay, so I'm just gonna use sum here. So you can go sum, all the ones above. Um, and in order to do how I did it, if you type in sum, go into the first cell and then hold shift down as you, as you go up with the arrow keys, you can select a bunch of cells, close the parentheses and press enter. Okay, so this next one is more about uh, copying and pasting uh, some numbers. So in order to copy, uh, it's very simple. We do Command C, Command V. So uh, in order to do this, we want to select the very first date and we want to copy only the format and then paste it to uh, the other cells. So in order to do that, we're going to press Command C and then we're going to go down one, select um, the rest of the cells that we want using Command Shift. And then we're going to press uh, command control V, and then we get this special paste option. Uh, now, if you just type in formats, like so, formats will be selected. Uh, and then that way we're only pasting the format. So we can press enter. There we go. The dates are now formatted in the same way. And we can do the exact same thing with price. So go to the first one. I'm going to press command C, go down, um, select the rest of the cells using command shift. And once again, control command V will bring up the special paste. We can type formats, enter, and we get uh, the same format. So let's continue, uh, um, continue to the next one. Okay, so this one's a, a tad more complicated. We're gonna use special paste and we're gonna use to paste the formula and also the format. So first let's fix this, this column. So same as before, I'm gonna copy that and then um, select the rest of the cells. I'm going to do Control Command V, Special Paste, and then do just the formats. Enter this one now. Uh, what we can do here is we can just copy it, select these cells, um, Control Paste. Okay, so once we've done that, let's move on to the next one. Here we want to um, copy and paste uh, how much was made from the beef sales. So we're going to go to the subtotal for beef, copy that. Uh, we're going to go control command paste and then we're going to select values and okay and there we go we paste the exact value there uh, okay so moving on to transposing we want to select we want to copy these numbers and then paste them into a row in, into a row here so we're going to have to transpose because right now it's in a column and we want it to be in a row so we're going to select all the numbers with uh, command shift copy come across. We're going to do special paste. So control command V. There we go. That's the one. And okay. All right. Moving on to 10. So these here are all, are all correct. So we can just follow the instructions. We're going to go um, to number shift control exclamation point three. Shift control four, shift control five, and then shift control um, six to get scientific notation. Okay, sounds good. All right, so uh, 
Now, this is where it gets a little bit more complicated. Uh, the first couple are easy, but then for, if you're working on a Mac, uh, you're gonna have to create your own shortcut actually. Let's start off just copying um, the instructions. So we're gonna go option command to create a bottom border. As you can see, there's a border there. So I'm gonna keep going, command up, left, right. Um, no border. So if there, let's, I'm just gonna create all borders here for now. So then to take that away, we do option command underscore. So that's all gone. Now, if we want an all border, so we're gonna go into tools on the upper ribbon. We're gonna go into customize keyboard. We're gonna go home tab. And then we're gonna say all border. We're gonna remove this. Um, and you add a new keyboard shortcut here. So let's say, let's go, I'm not sure how many uh, keys we can use. Let's try control option A. Let's add that, okay. So once we try that, let's go control option A. There we go. And we have an old border here. Very cool. Uh, so for outside borders, there is a shortcut already. We go command option zero. And then for thick borders, we're gonna actually have to do uh, another command, a new command once again. So let's go back into the tools ribbon, customize keyboard, home tab. And then we're gonna say thick box border. And I actually already have a shortcut here. It's command option B. So I'm just gonna click okay. And I'm gonna use command option B and we have a thick border. Hey everyone, so as I'm editing this video, I realized that it's becoming pretty long. So I've decided to split it up into two parts. This video will be part one and I'll be releasing part two shortly. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.